Hey, um, probably ought to, probably ought to get started here. Um, we do have a 7.30 uh, hearing. So it being 7.30, um, we have on our agenda the small wireless facility um, bylaw that we're proposing here. Did you want to do with some kind of introduction to this, Danielle? Or? Sure. Um, Where, excuse me. Mm. You got a hearing notice you want to have? Oh, yeah. Um, do we, do we want to read the public hearing notice? Ryan has the notice. Okay. If you will. Sure. You are hereby notified that the North Reading Community Planning Commission will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, June 21st, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. in room 14 of the North Reading Town Hall, 235 North Street, North Reading on the CPC's proposed policy for small wireless facilities located outside of the public rights of way. Copy this is on file in the Community Planning Commission office Monday through Thursday 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Friday 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It is available online at North Reading Gov slash community planning commission slash pages slash small wireless facilities. Thank you. Um, can I grab that back to me, please? Yes. So just quickly, that, that the policy hasn't changed since the last time we, we got it from from uh, town council, uh, or the recommended policy, with whatever changes we made initially. Is that correct? Right. The last time we discussed it, um, it the policy still as is as it was. The most recent thing that we added to that draft was um, a, a a preference wherever it's possible to put the equipment underground. For these right. facilities, um, though we were kind of warned by town council, you can't require it all the time because in some cases it just won't be physically possible to do it. So in that case, you can't say no, um, but you can ask them to do it where they can do it. Yeah. So um, we did add that language into the policy. Um, and just kind of as a refresher, in June of last year, we uh, the zoning changed. We um, The zoning amendment um, to allow the CPC to do a review process was passed. And so um, it just enables a very abbreviated form of site plan review. It doesn't allow for full site plan review, but it, it allows um, the CPC to review certain things and to put out um, preferences for design guidelines and certain aesthetic regulations as long as they're reasonable. So in the absence of that, we just we wouldn't have any regulation really. It would just be a building permit. Um, and this only would regulate um, installations proposed on private property through zoning. Um, the installations that would be proposed would be more likely to be in rights of way and that would be under the purview of the select board um, and we have provided a draft policy that is um, you know very similar to this draft policy um, but at, at, in, at their in their own timeline um, when they can they can address that you know as they see fit um, so it also addresses the fees and, and permit fees and all that stuff right, right. which are I suppose they're under the purview of the select board as well, all those fees. Um, I mean, we have them in the policy, so I mean, they're cast in stone to some extent. So. Until we update a policy if we wanted to. Until we update yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Can you just give me a, like, a little refresher on Oh, sure, sure. So these are the installations that are um, not the full-sized um, uh, wireless communication towers and other installations these are the ones that are much smaller they're for the 5g network and they go usually on top of small utility poles or they might be um, on their own small pole um, and they have a much shorter distance where they uh, of an area that they serve and so they're they're much more frequent and they're popping up. Um, they're regulated a little bit differently from the traditional wireless facilities. Um, towns have a little bit less control, actually quite a bit less control, um, than we do over the towers. The towers, we can require a special permit and we can have a very full yeah. public hearing with a lot of design guidelines. Um, this, we're not allowed to require as much and um, essentially it kind of defaults to the telecommunications companies to be allowed to install them, but we are allowed to impose reasonable, regu reasonable regulations on things like um, aesthetics, colors, heights, um, preferences. I actually remember this from okay. last year. I think you had somebody yep. come in and speak to you about getting ahead of the curve on this. Yes, yes. Yeah, I remember that now. Right. So we basically uh, went took it to town council and asked them to look at uh, you know comparable laws and to give us a, an idea of what they thought would, st would uh, pass muster. And okay. so that's what they did and, and with a few modifications. Right. We, um, because 
in, in traveling uh, across the country a couple of times, I've seen a lot of these installations, and, and they did a lot of them underground. But they're big power eaters, too. They eat a lot of electricity. They're very expensive to run, I think. So um, I'm not surprised that it's gone as far as it has right. so quickly. But I think there's only like, uh, I, I think that the distance, it's only like six or 700 feet or something. Like they don't have a yeah, lot. Yeah, that much more. Yeah, they only, they only eat between antennas. You can't have maybe six telephone poles. That's about it. Wow. Well, five telephone poles in between two antennas are, are to lose your uh, your uh, signal. So it's a fairly elaborate uh, set of them. We don't have any, I don't think, in North Reading yet. No, none no. have been proposed yet. And, uh, um, there's some in s surrounding communities. There, I discovered in, as, as we were researching this a couple years ago, I found one in my own neighborhood that I never oh, noticed. Yeah. <laughs> They're there. I mean, they, uh, Malden has a lot of them, um, kind of drove around taking pictures. They're small, um, yeah, and yeah. they're not usually very obtrusive, but... They were, they're popping up, in, especially in communities that don't have any regulation at all. I mean, there's, this doesn't introduce a lot of regulation, but it gives us some, me some measure of review. And it also allows us to say, we want you to prioritize um, you know, co-location. We don't want you to put a lot of new ones where um, if you can put them yeah. together. And also, we would prefer that you start in our industrial districts and our right. commercial yeah. districts rather than putting them in, in, in residential. That said, if, if the companies decide that they're needed in residential we don't have the right to say you can't have them but it, it allows us to put it forth our you know our preferences for what we want to see because they so. own the pole is that right it, it's just a it's just a type of utility installation that's really exempted from a lot of regulation yeah it's well, just the fcc just gives that, them a lot really of it, leeway there was a reason to do that and that's because there's a lot of towns that were refusing regular cell towers mm -hmm. We didn't do that. So that's the we, we found we, we got ahead of that curve also. We got trained on that yeah. more than I did. The rest of the board has changed since then. Right. But we learned about it and we did cite them and we put them usually on public property and co located, you know, water towers or whatever as we could to make them, you know, less intrusive and to cover the town. I think there's only one part of town that's not covered, that's Marblehead Street. Yeah. And that's because nobody came in with a tower to us. They tried to do it on private property and something <coughs> failed there, I think. Yeah. So. This doesn't address any like restoration or removal when like yes. they're upgraded yes. or whatever, does it? When they're done, it, it requires them to post a bond and to take out their pole once it's no longer in use. Okay, so, so. they do they can't just abandon yeah. the place or anything. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And also avoiding double pole situations. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was relatively comprehensive, and I, and I think that probably town council would not have recommended it to us if they hadn't already had success with it in other locations. Right. So, and it's kind of boilerplate, so it's, we're, we're going to start with that, and then we'll see what we get for applications, and then work our way through them and make modifications to the so policy. So, uh, it's, it's so we can modify it uh, as we see, as we need to. That's not a bylaw; it's a policy. So. Well, thank you for being ahead of curve again. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying. I went out to Indiana in a semi-rural location, and I have a 5G phone, and I turned it on, I have 5G. I'm in the middle of wow. coin country, and I have 5G, and I don't have it at home. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> All right. Um, so um, does this require us to take any kind of a look? Could we do the Just a, a vote to okay. put the policy in place. The policy has, it's been advertised that we would be having a hearing. Um, I don't see anyone here necessarily. Well, it is a, it is a public hearing, so I will, you know, so I, you know, I will open it up to, no. open up to the public. If there's any questions or comments from the public? Hearing none, then we can move on. Yeah, you can vote. I think just a vote to adopt the policy. Okay. Um, no, uh, Mr. Pierce. Sure, you have the motion there, right? Yes, I do. I move the please. Community Planning Commission vote to adopt the small wireless facilities policy. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Let the record show five in favor, no opposed. I can say five in favor. Too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all here.
Yes, okay. Let's see what the next screen says next here. So our next... Uh, Eight o'clock. Yeah, so, so we got a couple other things. Um, Cranberry Meadows, we got to endorse the plan. Do we have to vote to endorse? Is it a, or did we do that before? We can, but actually Attorney Man is not here yet. I know she's here for the other hearing, so maybe she was assuming we would be taking this after. <laughs> um, do you do uh, Are there any sun kills? No. Sun and board stuff? And no it's always the lady in green to let us know what's going on. You can do the minutes also. No, that's right. So Jill plan on being here at eight o'clock, is that it? I, I assume so. Okay. I mean if she shows up before that point we can always um, jump right in. You know. But she has the mylars, so we're not, we won't get very far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna sign anything, so we're right. to wait for her. Might as yeah, well. That's gonna slow us down just a tad. Yeah. Right. And there's a lot of mylars, there's twenty one sheets. I read them all. Oh, she does. She'll bring paper um, for us. To the minutes and for them. Yeah, you got, we, got, we got minutes. I guess we could do those. Mr. Pierce, Mr. I move Pierce. to approve the minutes dated April 19th, 2022. Actually, May 17th. Yeah. We have both of them in here. Do we don't want to do the April 19th ones? Uh, the oh, I put. The April 19th were already done. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have put them yeah, so okay. 17th. Uh, May Take 17th. that back. Mr. Pierce, I move to approve the minutes dated May 17th, 2022. Second. Okay, have a motion and a second. Dave. Yep. And uh, any uh, corrections or omissions? Hearing none, I'll all favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Show five in favor, no opposed. <clears throat> so did you say you really don't have any planned administrative updates today? Or? Oh no, I can give a few. Okay, well let's let's. Uh, we I was saying we don't have any uh, zoning board of board of appeals applications. Uh, yeah, I, board of appeals. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I can give a few updates. Um, so uh, July. Fifth, we will not be meeting. A couple of us are not available. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be around either. Um, well, maybe that night. But. So our, our next meeting after tonight will be July nineteenth. If that still that works forever, I, I I usually ask around this time of year if we have any uh, vacation plans that I should we should know about in terms of our meeting schedule. I'll but probably be out on the nineteenth. The nineteenth, okay. Well, if anyone else has any conflicts, you can just send me an email. No, I'll be here that week. You won't be here on I the... I will. No, I'll be here the 19th. You will be. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so far, probably just Ryan will be missing on the 19th. Okay. That's fine. Um, I had a question for you that came up uh, regarding the Woodcutter Road subdivision. Um, the developer is interested in putting decorative stone walls at the entryway and um, they wouldn't be retaining any earth so would and would be small enough to probably not require a building permit I just wanted to know if that was something you would want to see again just where, where is this um, the woodcutter road uh, Grand Legacy subdivision yeah Elm Street Elm Street Elm Street yeah I haven't seen a rendering or a plan or anything, but I was wondering if I should ask for one or, or if, if it's just a decorative stone wall, if it's not right, really. You should, you should always get a rendering of some sort because. Yeah, yeah it would probably be a good idea to see okay. some dimensions. Okay. See, okay. Just ask for it as a courtesy. Sure. And um, so we can just have a look and, and see what the height of them is, you know? Right. Okay. You know. Trying to figure out where There are some pretty, there's some substantial grade changes in that subject yeah. too, mm -hmm. so. So a decorative wall could, in fact, be um, be substantial. 
Yeah, yeah and if it's over a certain height, I know we'll need a building permit yeah, anyway. Well, I don't know how he's going to get it in on the right side, anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. The east side of that roadway, because it's kind of like going uphill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they want to cut a house in up there, right? They got, a, they got an excavator up the hill. It's like yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they're going to cut a house and get a driveway. It's going to be heck of a driveway. I don't. I don't want to be on that driveway. No, well, it's a house with a house with a car railway. You get it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you're going to put it. They're going to put an underground garage. You just enter and go up. Yeah, there you go. That's good work. <laughs> um, you know, they, you know, you don't know, you don't know what they're going to do because they could, in fact, cut that hill down quite a bit. They could, they and, could. Then, and then build against the back. And, and I would say that that the back part of that lot might be the kind of place where they put a decorative wall, which is really a retainer. Yeah. And uh, so we want to, we want to make sure that we don't end up with um, the walls that they built. The prison, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the look of a prison that end up back. You know, with all the concrete. And, and so. if there's any earth behind it, they're going to be able to leach water out of it. Yep, yep. If they build some of these walls, they put no pipes in them. And what happens in five years, they're on the ground. Yep. Or they're stuck, fall out, fall yep. apart. Some pipes and stone behind them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I, I think probably a good idea to see what, what they're talking about. Okay. And uh, height and material. Mm -hmm. All right. Decorative to one person isn't that good looking to somebody else sometimes, you know? Right, right. So um, make sure we got... Okay. Um, I got a call today from a DEP regarding the 70 Concord Street property. That was the one that a few years ago um, the town had been looking to try to figure out how to facilitate a, a, a sale of some sort, but there's a very large lien on the property due to contamination and Is that the Halberg Park thing? I'm sorry. Yeah. Halberg Park. Um yes, yes, right up on the corner of yeah. Halberg Park. Um the old Sterling uh, materials yeah, yeah. company. They, put um, all the, they did make cleaners and soaps and stuff in there. They, yeah, there were a lot of they kind of dumped a lot in the ground there. Um so they let me know that they're in the process now, DEP is in the process of kind of decommissioning everything that they had there in terms of the pumps, which haven't been functioning for quite some time, but they're removing all of the Commonwealth owned equipment and material from there and the site will be vacant so i mean it's vacant now but it has their equipment and testing stuff well, in there and the air purifiers and everything are going to be taken out well what is that are they just giving up on the project or is it or are they declaring it acceptable at this point um it's been cleaned up but in terms of the level of cleanup um i they couldn't actually tell me because they didn't know the person who contacted me just didn't have the paperwork in front of them in terms of what could actually be developed but what what they can they're, they're moving on from it um it's not perfectly cleaned up there still is contamination there but it's not as bad as it was but they're not nothing they're doing on it is making it any better at this point so they're they're moving on from it they've already invested enough i guess from their perspective they're they're you know they're not planning on um, doing any further remediation. So um, it probably wouldn't be that time for us to pick that project up again. And not that we were necessarily, you know, taking yeah, charge of it, but thing, right? no. yeah, and EDC had been EDC very interested in it. Who's the, own, who's the owner of that property now? I'm sorry? Are we the owner of that property? No, no. We would try to facilitate something where we could be the owner it, for a short enough time that we could put it out but um, to another owner, but we don't want to own it right now with its current, you know, contamination. We really don't want to. We don't want to be liable. Well, yeah, right. because what happens is if you, if, you, uh, if you take on that project and, you, and, and there isn't some kind of a guarantee from the prior owner to, to be responsible for the for the rest of the cleanup, then you will inherit the responsibility for the cleanup. And when you try to sell it off, they're going to want you to still hold on to that responsibility, even after you cha change his hands. And that could be a difficult thing to get out from under, for, and it can cost the town a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I, do, I think they have a, uh, the TA has an idea on how to do that. The well, town's already taking the steps that it can for now, right. but it's, yeah, so there's some, I. There are definitely some additional things that could happen to start, you know, getting to the next step. So what what they're what DEP is doing is they're going to be sending me some information about who we can reach out to next and what the next steps might be. Um, but they wanted to let us know that they would be here this week and offered to um, actually, if I 
So if you're interested, come and check out the building. They're going to be in there. So I'm just curious to see what the property is like, and I've never yeah. been inside, so they offered to. I, that, I'm going to do that tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I think the, the um, value in that property is after sewer goes in. Could be. Because they're not going to be able to introduce any water into that property. Because the more that leaches through, it drives everything that's left into the property out. Well, the, so question is, would do that. the question is, what do they do? I mean, uh, one of the examples I give you is, is up in um, up in Havel, where all the tanneries were along the edge of the river. There, they what they ultimately the ultimate decision was to dig down at a certain elevation and put a layer of clay-like material or, yep. or, or, or uh, to uh, to block it off and then build then fill it all in and build above that and call it good. I knew it wasn't clean, but they're calling it good. Right. So my, that, that was the basis for my question as to whether or not DEP has cleaned this up to the point where the next step that you're looking for would be, okay, you know, dig down to this depth and put us uh, uh, some kind of a barrier layer in and then fill it all back in and you're good to go. I don't know yet what would really need to be done in order to actually, pr you know, introduce a new use. So they, they were going to send me all the information on whether there are currently any activity and use limitations on it. I think there must be, but I don't know, like, well, to what level I yet. I just know from and, uh, doing some other jobs, on, you know, oil tank removal mm -hmm. and things like that, mm -hmm. that the DEP, it's, everything's not absolute with them. In other words, you don't have to get it to be absolutely no. clean. Yeah. They have a threshold that they're allowed, that, that they'll go to. And so the question is, are we at the threshold there? Um, I don't know yet, yeah, and definitely. it's definitely not absolutely clean. I mean, there's definitely still um, I don't think they have material. To be, otherwise, why would they be walking away from it? Yeah. Well, well, how like long has it been going on for? Oh my God, thirty years. Thirty years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And nothing it has not been, it has not been a, uh, a useful. Site there was a high strength cleaner colony in there, and they and they well, dumped really? a lot of very. What's it adjacent to? Is that the corner um, of Halberg Park? Just as you're coming in. Halberg Park. Um, it's a, it's, you know, the big, there's a big building up on a hill that was a machine shop for a while there? Yeah. Well, just below that, before the next uh, brick building there, there's a road that goes out back. Okay. That's it. The service pump and drain is out there now, too, yeah. in Auburn Park. There's there's behind road, you, you can find the road. Behind Caterpillar? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, you can you can drive in if you want to. It's on the yeah. southwest corner okay. of that, <coughs> of Concord and Auburn. Okay. There was a lot of a lot of concern in the beginning because Redding's Wells are up behind there, but yeah. further further south uh, north of that, I think. And uh, so there was some you know concern. So again, uh, um, um, there's there's, there's probably there'd be a concern coming from them if the, as to whether or not they're done, you know. <laughs> well, they're done from their perspective in terms of DEP is not doing anything more on it. So well, I don't think they can just. Um, I, I think that if the if the contamination level was high, they couldn't just walk away. It's lower than it was. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah. Would hope. <laughs> 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 but nothing they're doing right now is actually doing anything for the yeah, contamination they level. They, they basically shut it down a little while ago. Yeah. There was a whole bunch. There was a bunch of you know stuff that went on. With people with uh, somebody trying to buy it, thinking they could fix it. And it was a long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of stuff the, went on. In 93, it shut, I mean, they retired the, so they're on the, it has just one release tracking number, but in 93, that was when it got retired on the tier one, and now it's potential release, threat release, since 90, is open. How big is the parcel? So it's like a threat, or so it's it's like a Maybe two acres? I don't know what exactly it is, is it like heavy metal, or is it there was a clean, there was a, they made cleaning solutions. Okay. Yeah. So, they, so, so a lot of it leaked into the ground. Whatever and... Yeah. yeah. But it was all very soluble, that's the problem. Yeah, it got down in the groundwater, I think. Yeah. It got down in the groundwater and it, right. it was it doesn't, the, It's not like oil. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. floats on top. It, it goes it down, it grows in and yeah. through. So oil is actually easier to deal with than right. anything else. It is. Oh, well. Yeah, that's good. You're, so you're going, Danielle, tomorrow? I'm going to try to go tomorrow. They'll be there all week. Um, I'm just curious to see the property yeah. and be allowed when are you inside. Going <laughs> I'm sorry? When are you going to go by? Um, I'm just going to look at my calendar in the morning. Sometime in the morning, probably. Yeah, um, if you're interested, I'd, yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting. To okay. Know. Just like you, you've heard about, heard about it. Yeah. Have been able to really go on the site and didn't really want to go on the site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go on there all around. Well, many, 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 many suit. to go on. <laughs> <laughs> and that was first becoming hey, a problem. We went there once and looked it over, but that was when uh, 
because we were getting concerned for Reading and everything else. So yeah. It was a long time ago, yeah. But, um, Maybe review though, the sewer, sure that's one second. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could be worth something. Even if they have a new like you know, for you the Well, the question so is, is there was a there was a bunch of there was a bunch of things that happened with that where whoever owned it stopped paying taxes or something right. like that. Yeah, 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 it's on the tax title. We actually <laughs> could own the property, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like it has to be timed. Yeah. But we're but, like but, but we're getting careful. But we're getting well, we're getting careful not to take it because when you take it, you take on the responsibility. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got to be careful how you how you do that and. And um, if you can get a sign off, that that was one of my questions. Because if you can get a sign off from the DEP that it's at some acceptable level, and here's the yes, only remediation required in order to use the property, then maybe you can stick your neck out a little bit. Right. Other than that, you got to be careful. Yeah, I think I think the selection has brought in some lawyer to work on taking the doing the paperwork and yeah. That's not any. Also, the person is also um, uh, familiar with this kind of issue. It's not just a you know straightforward tax title thing. That's for sure. <laughs> no, you don't want to. Uh, we don't want to own it. No, I don't want to own it. If it's a headache. Yep. So, okay. What else you got there? Um. Continuing to work with DPW on the uh, sewer study, in term, you know the financial assess assessments, and um, it's 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 working along. Yeah. Um, I, you know there will be you know communications going out Ooh. soon, some additional things, um, and I know they're looking to do some informational workshops and get some feedback from folks. But I don't have any you know yeah. study results to share yet. It was but pretty impressive the fact that the betterment went through uh, as easily as it did. I expected a lot more pushback than what we got. Yeah. But, um, that was positive. Yeah, yeah, that was very positive. Yeah. yeah, that was very positive. Because the town, you know, the old bed in the had its, had its place when we were just looking at, right. you know, Please. fixing roads. That yeah. was what we were looking at at the time, just fixing roads. So what it means in and roads. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, and we actually did a few of them under, yeah, that, we did. under that program. We did. So, um, you know, Mike, when he was here, uh, he, he got a couple of couple roads done. And some water mains from the intervals. Huh? Babe, did a couple. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that was on the mic, so. Yeah, yeah Mike was the one. Hey, Mike actually ran the program. Right. So, um, um, so that was good, but it, but it definitely needed to be upgraded if we were going to do sewer because it's going to have to be a, a little more participation. Oh, yeah. Than, you know, unfortunately, in order to make this work. So. And there wasn't that much pushback, so that was a real positive step forward. So. I, I do have a question to bring here. Yep. Charles Green. When when is that? So they've got the subdivision going, but has there been any movement on that since you know? Does, does that run out? Um, there's no. no the time out? frame was to get them to the point of the binder drainage and utilities. Right. They did get to that point, right. but the issue now is that the site's not being cared for and it's not stable and it's silty and it's overgrowing and it's just not in a good state. Um, the conservation agent and I met the developer out there a few weeks ago now <coughs> and talked over a checklist of things um, with also with, with DCI's input, you know, things that needed to be done. And, Is this um, Bruno? Yeah. 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 So was his contract in there? No, his contractor was not there, just him. Just him? Just him. He doesn't know anything from And, I mean, there were promises to take care of certain things that have not yet been done. Right. It's, um, you know, there's been some follow-up, but it's yeah, definitely not in good shape. It's really messy and, you know. And the, the biggest thing is for them to maintain the, uh, the uh, stormwater situation because that can be a problem there. Yeah. You know, because if it starts running down all that new piping into the wetland down the other end of Charles Street, that's that's gonna create a problem. Yeah. There'll be people will be up in arms and EPW is gonna go in there and fix it. Yep. Yeah. Or clean it. Clean it, yeah. It just needs to be clean, but if, if they don't get it 
keep it going, they're going to get silt in the pipes, and that's not a good thing. You know, that site has so much water on it that it yep. drains 24-7, 365 days a year, water pours out of that. There's no, it no, no, no matter how dry it gets, right. the water keeps running in there. That's how wet that area is. So, into that catch basin up the top of the Old Charles Street. It's a constant thing, so. Okay. We're just about, uh, we're at 8 o'clock if we want to move on to our. Yeah, we can move on. On to our uh, next uh, thing here. Okay, um, 14 Concord Street, site plan review. So, good evening, Jill Mann here on behalf of Sergio Coviello. Mm -hmm. He's here with me this evening um, in connection with that site plan approval for those two buildings located at 14 and 12 Concord Street. Right. Um, we actually got full sign off from DCI and um, we did get a copy of the draft decision from Ms. McKnight and we reviewed that. Um, we did have one other issue. There was a provision in the decision that actually said we needed to, um, and I didn't know this yet, we needed to get verified test pits, like witnessed. They already were done. DCI actually even witnessed them. So that was one thing, just so you know, so that maybe can be scratched. But other than that, all the conditions seem fair and reasonable you know, to us. We had gone, we just talked about a couple of things in the decision. Um, we did get uh, full approval from the Conservation Commission um, they approved the crossing and they approved the location of all the items and they approved the stormwater. So at this point, we're here this evening to request that this board um, take a vote on that special um, site plan special plan. Thank you. Yeah, the, the test puts are on like page one. That's, the I mean, I can, yeah, which it's just one of those boilerplate standards. Yeah, no, so it's, I mean, I can take it out if um, you would like me to. Um, and I knew it was too, Ms. McKnight, I, I was like, oh, and I just, I didn't know if they had or they hadn't from my perspective, and then I talked to Luke Roy, and he we said, we don't hey, have it in there, we forget about it. Uh, listen, I, trust me when I tell you, no matter what, keep the boilerplate, because that keeps you safe. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It keeps, it keeps the applicant safe, too. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. There really were no other... <clears throat> issues there had been uh, the request from the fire department to place two hydrants um attorney man pointed out where on the plan that is i put took that back to deputy galvin he said those locations are fine um we're i think we're really we're really all set with anything that was outstanding at this point and we're excited to start building perfect time to build by the way pricing is great yeah well, <laughs> it's coming down <laughs> oh my lord Slowly. Oh, oh my really. gosh. Wait, wait a minute. Now, he works in steel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different story, right? You know, it, seem, it, it seems as though pricing should be coming down. Yeah, well, but. But it slow. is just, I mean, people are thinking, well, maybe we'll take a little bit of advantage and make some profit now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot exactly of people got crushed on. in the last Probably two years. Probably sticky all the way down. Yeah, well, it was a painful couple of years for this industry, so. Yeah. I think it'll begin to get better, but not for just a little bit because they're too, they get too used to the money. So. Yeah. Right, but Give now with months. inflation, we'll see because now the cost of money is getting much more expensive. So yeah. we'll see what well, happens. The other thing that happened, though, is the government passed that, 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 ship, that rule against shipping to stop the um, shipping companies from gouging people. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, there'll, there'll be a way around it. <laughs> Some of the stuff that we paid for shipping, yeah. holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. This is stupid money. Just it is. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. So uh, if we have no more issues, I guess we can entertain a motion to for the approval. Yes, Mr. Pierce, I move the Community Planning Commission vote to approve the plans entitled Site Plan 14 Concord Street, Town and North Reading, Assessors Map 18, Parcel 15, dated February 5th. Is that right? Are we doing the revised plans and March 13th plans? Yes. Is Does that have the revision date? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, can I take a look at the motion? Joe, you know what the right, I'm sorry, it does, yeah. Oh. Dated February 15th, 2022, revised May 13th, 2022, oh, yeah, drawn yeah, yeah. by LJR Engineering, subject to the terms and conditions of the certificate of conditional approval dated June 21st, 2022, as amended this evening. We have a motion, we have a second. Second. 
A motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Let's let the record show five in favor, no opposed. Okay. Luke does a good job of the revisions. They're right on the plan yeah. where they should be. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, the Cranberry Meadow subdivision. Um, you have the, I understand you have yes. the plans. There's also a motion to um, endorse no the plans. If you to want what? To endorse the 14. Oh, you know what? Oh, I think we we'll wait for the appeal period. We were just going to wait for the yeah. appeal period. Okay. I figured they did. I didn't know if they would want to do that, so I figured when I when the appeal period expires, okay. I, I don't mind coming back. Okay. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. That's <laughs> just keeping us honest here. That's all. <laughs> So, uh, Cranberry Meadows. Yeah, you're in Cranberry Meadows. Yeah. Thanks, Sergio. Yes, so with Cranberry Thanks, Meadows. Thanks, Sergio. We'll be, we'll be watching those buildings, young man. <laughs> they have to save up for a while. Sergio, I think it's just tilt up. Go for a tree. I know they're going to be tired. Right down the street. Yeah. They should have, like, my lives. They have to go in. It's like steel and wood, you know. Oh, oh, right. oh, temporary oh, disturbance oh, right. so warrant outside that box oh, called like three feet. Outside of the box culvert on the weapon probably. They have three foot three foot temporary disturbance. Yeah. Yeah, we're working with them now. It's not that high on the wall, so I guess you kind of you can get away with just a little bit of space, right? Yeah, really well. Yeah. 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 If you go there, it's highly likely that it's a lot more than that at the time. That's what, what I was wondering. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, where you're going you got to get suitable material. You can't just go right to the face of your tank wall. You have to over it, okay. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're in this area that you're going to put Well, you know, back. basically they do that to get it past conservation, to limit the amount of equipment. Yeah. It's all cumulative, you know? Yeah, but it's well below 5,000 square yeah. feet, so you'd think they'd just give themselves a nice six-foot berth or something, right? Yeah. But regardless of if they do tend to do that disturbance, they still have to do replication. Yeah. So, so they still want to minimize what they, what they disturb in order to minimize the replication. Right. But the reality is that it'll be a lot more, but then they'll fix it all. And well, they'll, they'll fix it, but they've already brought in you know, new base and yeah. disturbed all that land. Like, so we can you can only put it back so much, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of how it goes. So. <laughs> we're up against the same thing in a project. Um, but we're right at the 5,000 square feet. Yeah. So it's like, oh, please don't kick us back to the state. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, the, to your point, everyone does it. You say it's going to be three feet, but it's always... Well, you know, everybody knows that what's going on, and the idea is to get it through the conservation and get it, you know, and get your approval to work. Because nobody wants to stop the project. Right. And nobody wants to restore more than they have to. So everyone's going to try to work as tight as possible. As they can. But they don't want to, uh, they don't want to, on a technicality, you know, crash a project. Yeah. Especially if it's good for the community. So we have weekly swift inspections on that project? Yeah. We do. Does the town, does the town make them have that inspection done? We get those reports? Well, we have, uh, uh, yeah, well, the peer review engineer goes out and does the three yeah. construction. Yeah. 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 <laughs> is that cost covered by the permit fee, or is that a separate cost for Oh, no, we build the, 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 the peer review engineer builds us, and we build the, the, the people. Okay, in addition to the permit fees. Yeah, in, in addition to all that, yeah. That, as a matter of fact, usually what we do is we put together an, an approximate cost of inspections during the life of the project that we require, we require a deposit. Gotcha. So they give us money up front, and then we, we use that pool until it's gone. But when it gets close to gone, they call them and say, hey, uh, another 10,000. Put five grand more on the yeah. 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 Did a building inspector and conservation review on those reports? Yes. But they have their own fees, too. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know. I'm good where I am. I was curious how consistent that was across municipalities. Yeah, well, it's Everyone does a little bit different. Yeah. Sometimes they're really on top of that stuff. Sometimes they're much more lax about it. <laughs> okay, uh, where did Danielle go? She went to get the Mylar plans, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we so I have paper copies for you to sign, and then she went to get the Mylar as well. Oh, oh boy. 
I guess we should have brought a lunch. Oh, yeah, we're we'll looking here a while. It's going to be it's 21 pages. So we only have to do like uh, one page, right? You can do whichever ones you want. You can actually have to do any paper one because they can. And you can one paper one by one. Yeah, because you've got to scan them anyway, right? Yeah, but it's once, I, once you sign, I will scan them. All right, we have to vote for Simon, though. Yes. So, uh, so uh, Ryan, do you have a motion there? Yes. Everybody? Mr. Pierce. Right here. Carol. I move the Community Planning Commission vote to endorse the plans entitled Definitive Subdivision and Notice of Intent Plans, Cranberry Meadow Estates, 39 Chestnut and 9 Flint Street, North Reading, Mass, 01864, Map 56, Parcel 74 and 80, North Reading, Massachusetts. Dated August 24th, 2021, revised February 4th, 2022, and March 7th, 2022, drawn by ASB Design Group, LLC. Second. 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 So, uh, any friend discussion? Hey, at uh, front, at front, quiet down. I'm trying to vote for you. Usually it's the people that come we have to quiet down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Let the record show five in favor, no opposed. Now we can sign. Now we can sign. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's a signing party. Oh, boy. Yeah. Who's got the paper one? I got a paper. Yeah. Um, we can be in here. Well, we can put the paper. Yeah. Just the paper. Paper here, and then we can put the paper there. Because okay. okay. you want a little bit more room so that that uh, ink can dry on the mylar. Twenty one forty two uh, signatures. Each person. Yahoo. What happened to a stamp? Right. I know, right? Yeah. Can you can do that. You can. You can. You can. You can do an authorized stamp. Yeah. We should. Um, yeah, you should. Twenty-first. Twenty-first. I can't remember who told me that. Oh, it's true. Well, you can. I always have to check where I am. You know. I know. Yep. How often does this come up? <laughs> right, right. It's blood flowing. <laughs> Great. They were knocked out. Both two knocked out kids. Were they good dates? Much better this year? Yes. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy this year. I also had to take them out for pizza because they were ravenous. <laughs> Gymnastics and Ninja Warrior, so they were really expecting a lot of energy. You don't want to pay for cutting these. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> well, you don't want me to come for like a separate visit for these? That's so funny. Yeah. You want to hold on to them so you can? <laughs> so they got, didn't they got pizza? There wasn't a lot of them. The best for a kid. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Starving. <laughs> What's the deal? Not a lot. No, no, not not a lot. Did you tell him about your chipmunk injury? No. What? So she has a hurt toe because her cat brought in a live chipmunk and chasing around the house, the furniture. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's that's why she's running away limping. from the chipmunk? Well, no. I was actually trying to move a chair, a, ro a rocking chair, and it has the metal thing on the bottom. And I oh. pushed it and I pushed my. Like, my. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Gross. I did too. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. I'm not sure how bad it is. The first seven. The first seven. Yeah. Anything you can nail this. The first. The first. The first. The first. The paper cut on something terrible. What was it? Hey, Jill. We used to do three paper copies before. I can't even imagine. That's too much. I mean, in the fall, I see, I go back and I see it. I send them to the end. Or you know it. I had a, uh, oh, I know what it was. It was a paper packet for my kid's camp that was stuck in my purse, and I was fishing for something while I was driving. It, it was
was like to the knuckle. Yes. <laughs> it was terrible. I had paid big requests from you know, silly things from this job. Like, I can't believe that's a hazard of our job. <laughs> that's like a plastic cut, though. That's terrible. Oh, like, that's. I'm telling you, it's just. It's, 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 and then oh. it gets all over. It's just, it's quite a thing. I have yeah, had um, paper cuts. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what I did today. Yeah. 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 I got pinched yeah. <laughs> in a $3.5 million report. <laughs> In a three and a half million dollar what? Oh, what? Are you what? And I, when I this is a my hand. Who's next? Right under the right. Wait, in a what? A three and a half million dollar condo. Oh. oh. 21 sheets. Yeah. And uh, luckily, it was only staged. Okay. It wasn't owned by anybody. Thank God, at least these have the same <laughs> Blood everywhere. Always on the same area. Because <laughs> you know, some of them have another one. This guy's pretty good about that. We're doing a pool in the yard, and the guy was there today. Is that like metal mesh? Oh, look at this. You got a pretty thing. He said he did a job one time where he <laughs> so the ends of it are like the cut ends. So it's like a pretty good gauge mesh. He said he was on a job and kicked it with a metal went through his boots and under his toenail. Like, a, oh, oh, my God. I almost threw up just to think about that. That's like, oh. terrible. Because my kids are outside, like, running around on with sandals on. And I keep telling them, Brian. You got like, yeah. I got, you know that fake wood paneling that used to go two paper over paper yeah. We used to have it in my own apartment, and I reached down, and I got a, a it was this long, right up into my nail paper. It, was, it disappeared into my nail paper to have it removed. It was... Oh, I get crazy just like with the Novocaine that they shot my finger up with, I still, at the moment that they pulled out, I could, I still felt Sorry, I'll stop. That's so gross. <laughs> it's really gross. Oh, <laughs> I actually had two. I had another splinter I had to have removed from my palm. Like a couple of years later because it got infected. Same thing. I've had some. Uh, seven. <laughs> some terrible trauma that I didn't know. <laughs> I told Chris about that one, and he said, I would have gotten that splinter out. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a good one. That was almost like no, nothing else. It is funny how much pain you can, like, when it's in there, it's just so annoying that you can, like, cover your skin just to, just to get it out, and whatever it takes. Like. When I was in high school, I was making my sister a rabbit hutch. I'm using a circular saw, and I got a splinter in my eyeball. Oh, you're up next. That's, I spent like two days like trying to rinse it out. It just felt like it was itchy. And finally, I went to the optometrist, and there was a splinter in my cornea. I had to pull it. I had to put this goop in like twice a day for like a month, so it wouldn't get infected and lose my eye. Oh, that's really scary. <laughs> my friend got a glass splinter in her eye. She didn't know what it was. It was so painful, and they. She still doesn't know how it happened. No, was it glass or metal? It was a tiny shard of something, and they just. Oh, she was okay, but like, yeah. she has no idea how it happened. That's scary. Yeah. Well, I think he's got the next bird. Have you ever gotten birds free and had that happen to you? Oh, I've had them only lick something. Did you have to water. have it signed again? There's no way that, okay. <laughs> Jeremiah, you gotta watch this one. But it's repeatable. Oh, that's repeatable. You can do that 42 <laughs> times. <laughs> it's, 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 it looks like three O's. If he doesn't tell me, he tells the mind he does it. I can do it all the time. So when your wife signs your checks, it's easy? Sustainability advisory. No. So that seems to be the buzzword. That's kind of more Oh, I am fast. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Not too fast though, yeah. A, a oh, slice. Give me the line. Sure. <laughs> close it out. That's the close out. So he'll have done a set. No, this oh, you're is going to get the second. Yeah, that's get the second. The one third. Third. That's the last third. You get the first oh, third. Oh,
but I tell you, I had surgery once. Oh, I had surgery once, and I said to the guy, I don't want to go into general anesthesia. They gave me a hard time. And he said, I'm an attorney, and I have a hard time with general anesthesia. And I said, I think that could happen with this. Because I had that whole surgery, it's like, oh, not me. Oh, you heard it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. But with my hip. Did I feel like yeah. I'm going to say that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Ye
happy summer because it is the first day. Yep. Yay. Thank you. I'll be back. The longest day. That's why we're tired. It's the longest day. That's why we're tired. Yeah, my day started early this morning. So keep an eye on Sergio. Keep him on the straight and <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's easy. Yeah, or Sergio, keep an eye on him. <laughs> well, I'll keep him in line. Take All care. Right. Bye. 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 All right, that's done. Okay, so I think the only thing we have left to do is to do our reorganization and our liaisons. Oh, I, I do that part right, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will mm -hmm. um, take a motion for the position of chair. I'm not, I'm not many Chris Faden for chair. There a second. I'll second that. Discussion? Are there any other nominations? Oh, are there any other nominations? I always forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> are there any other nominations? Hearing none. Now do we vote? Yes, now we vote. Okay. Um, all those in favor. Have I told you anything else? Oh, gosh, I know. I only do this once a year. <laughs> Where's your gavel? You can get to use your gavel. Warren told you me to put it away. All the time. Like, that is such a waste. Use that gavel. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? No, none opposed. Let the record show. Five in favor, none opposed. Chris Hayden is the chair. Oh, good. You're Would doing you like the gavel chair? No, I don't need <laughs> okay. I can I can talk louder than anybody in the room. <laughs> Uh, I'll open uh, nominations for vice chair. Don't be shy. Who would like to be? Well, do you want to be vice chair? I'm still learning. Oh, no, not yet, huh? Dave? I'd like to give Brian an opportunity since he's been here a lot longer, so. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> It is a responsibility. It is a responsibility. Yeah. It's something you're second in command. If I'm not here, oh, you have to run the meeting. Oh, yeah. If you're, if not, you're not, not here and I'm not here, then the clerk has to run. If you're not sure that you, that you want it, that you can fulfill it and everything, just say so. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think uh, given my uh, recent absences, I don't want to uh, leave anybody in the lurch here. Although, Mr. Hayden, you're here. Yeah. Seemingly every single time, but um, he is too. Well, I mean, if these guys don't want to do it, I'll vice chair for yeah. them if you want. You want to do it, Dave? I mean, I'm still. I feel like I'm. I'm still learning too. But you, you know, know what? You'll learn more. With That's you. it's a long life, so yeah. You, you, yeah. You'll have another chance right. next yeah, year. I'm, I'm, and, and I'm cool with it. You're, 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 you're not going, going anywhere. You'll so, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that's that would be my thought. You know, I, I, we talked a little bit about it. Yep. I, thought, I thought you would be a good choice. Not that. I appreciate that. So I, I had a feeling, Brian, that you were kind of stuck between a uh, rock and a hard place. Yeah. Yes. And I know that I missed I didn't think, think you would not hurt not, not you that way. So, I mean, it, it, this is kind of a bit of a discussion, but it's really important <laughs> that, you know, that you have some say in what happens. You know, each person has yeah. a say in what happens. So, does that mean you'll be okay with it, David? I would, yes. Okay. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. Well, Ryan is nominated, you and I'll second it. So. Okay. Any other nominations? Very none. Any other discussion? Very none. All those in favor of Mr. Redloff as vice chairman? Please say aye. 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 Any notes? Five in favor? Four in favor, really. Four in favor, and, and Mr. Redlock. <laughs> I didn't actually see that. It's okay, I usually do that, too. All right, we, need, we do need a clerk. You want to stay on as a clerk, Ryan? Happen to. Okay. There you go. Unless, I'm unless, unless, unless for our... Yeah, happy to... Jeremiah? Jeremiah, would you... Pass the you know, like, like I said, it's a way to learn. You learn a little bit more, but it's up to you. Clerk, clerk is kind of a, not really demanding, but you are third in line. If David and I are here, the clerk can be running the meeting. I'm happy to do it. I mean, you're doing a great job with it, so it's really... Uh, well, there you go. Well, okay, so then I, I'll nominate Ryan as yeah, clerk. Okay. Nomination for Ryan, is there a second? Second. Right. Is there any other nominations? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, Mr. Brian is our clerk. Yeah. All right, so now the reorganization goes to the liaison. Liaison. Good morning, do you want to switch up with on the, on the select board? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. You want to hang on to conservation? Can you say the name so that it's in the recording? And, uh, oh, I know uh, select board, Christopher B. Hayden. Thank you. Conservation Commission, you want to hold on to that one? Yeah, I can, I can do that. All right, Conservation Commission, Warren Pierce. Yeah. Zoning Board, David, do you want to hang on yeah, to that? Like that yeah. All right, David uh, Rudloff, the Zoning Board of Appeals. Housing Partnership Committee, Jeremiah? Yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah, sure. You want to hang on to that? So, Housing. Partnership Committee, Jeremiah Johnston. Uh, Metropolitan <coughs> Area Planning Council. David, you want to hang on to that? Yep, thanks. All right, David will have that. I will hang on to the Historic District and the Historical Commission, unless there's someone who wants to jump in on that. Thank you, Chris. Um, Finance Committee. Should I take that, Warren? Is that usually the chair, or is that the, does it not matter? Um. Um, because I'll let you have that. Well, I don't think it, you know, I'm already dealing with Abby on the uh, well, I'll let you have it. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> finance committee from Mr. Pierce. <laughs> I'm already dealing with her on the uh, re the uh, facilities master plan here. Yeah, so, Mr. Carroll, can you handle the land utilization still? Yes, all right. Uh, it used to be easy, but with this rail trail thing, yeah. it's gotten tough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, school, school committee, Warren. You want to lose that? See if we can get one of these guys that have school-aged children. Yeah, yeah. Give it to somebody. Would yeah. someone else like to grab a hold of the school committee? My wife's on the school committee, so uh, not that well, I, probably. Well, you'd be up. You'd be well informed. <laughs> 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 you'd probably be better informed than any of us. How about you, Jeremiah? Would you? Uh, yeah, we like want to do it. All right. Let's Jeremiah Johnston for uh, school committee. Uh, Recreation Committee, that's Ryan. You want to hang on to that? Sure. All right. Wastewater Advisory. Yeah, I'll stick with that. But right. little they do anymore, so. Yeah, all right. Mr. Pierce, uh, Commission on Disabilities. Ryan, you've got that too. Yes. Okay. And then there's the Economic Development Committee. We already put you on that. <laughs> yeah, and, well, that's the whole trick. I was hoping that someone would like to take that responsibility over on the EDC. I would help out, but I'd rather not be the actual liaison. Actual, actual member. Well, the liaison is also a member of the committee. Yeah. Um, it, it does, it's not, there's no rule against it within the, the it's not the town charter, but the charter of the EDC. Um, but it's just one of those things that would be easier. You know, it's, it's, it's once a month? Once a month. Once a month, and it's usually right it's before, right well, it's, We're, today I'm, it was right before I'm this. I'm trying week. to get it back to being right before, because there are so many of us who go to both. And for yeah, me, so it's, it's easier. Selfishly, it's easier, right. well, so that's but I figure it's, you know, that's fine. easier. So it's, it's 6.30 to 7.30. And, and when Six, there's a meeting... 6.15 to 7.29. <laughs> yeah, well, no, yeah. I... It's I, usually I, a short meeting. Yeah, it's a short meeting. So, would you like to jump in on that, Dave? You sound like you want to get out of it. I do. I, well, I've been doing it. Well, I'm going to go still. But I would just be. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do it. You know, you're going to be the voting members, what that would be. We'll have to do, uh, we have to vote you in. That's all we have to do. That is actually another, a separate vote. Right. Yeah. Not today. Right. The next meeting, because we have to post Oh, that's that. right. We have to put that on the you agenda. Have, you have to put that on the agenda and post that's it. That's right. All right. We'll do that, we'll do that, that on the next, next But meeting. we don't have to bring that to the select board, because that's our appointment. You know, every other one we have to do a joint appointment, but for, for this one, we don't have to. And I'll still be, a, I'll still be a, an associate member. I'm just going to back off. Yep. Okay. okay. It works. Yeah, that one is a, a joint appointment, Chris. You being an associate member would be. That's okay. Yeah. So we can. Whenever we're all together. Yeah. Okay. I can still go to the meetings. I can't vote anybody. So right. what's the difference? 
All right? Do we have everything set? Is there anything else we need to do? Yes, Debbie has to take her toe home. Put some ice on it. Yeah, do something. I don't Wait, know what happened? I'm just going to say that now. What happened? She was chasing the chip bucket. That's a great stubbed, story. She stubbed her toe. Our cat goes in the garage. He's not allowed to go out. And he this brought in the live chip one. And, and he let it go. You know, so we were chasing it around the house. And it kept running out of furniture and stuff. And I tried to move a piece of furniture. And I hit my toe. With it, but we did get the chipmunk. That's all counts. <laughs> Alive yeah. or? Alive. Wow. Yes, he actually, we opened the door and uh, he went out the door. It's <laughs> uh, like yeah, the navigation. One, one of Alyssa's, <laughs> Alyssa's cat brought in a live bird one day. Oh. It's supposed to be good luck, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's better luck if they don't bring it in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Walmart? Yes, uh, hi. So last time I was here, I brought up about the Sesame dwelling units. And you gave me some pushback, but you know, you wanted to find out if the select board was affirming that we are in support of doing that. And so during the last select board meeting, I raised this issue, uh, relayed a lot of your comments, and we had a long discussion with your member. And the select board, very much on the accessory dwelling units, would like to work with you or hear of, hear of a policy and go forward with that. That, that is so, a big part of our strategic objectives. Okay. And, and would like to see that happen. Um, were we thinking of doing a, a working group with the select board? And then, is that what we were thinking, Warren? Well, the, I, I, I think the reason we wanted to do that is because we wanted to hear that everybody was on this, at, at least on a similar page, to make sure that we didn't go through all this work. Because we, we actually started a, a policy. Right. And so, so, I mean, we already have something, you know, on paper uh, that we could bring to that. And, and then, and then, um, if we could go through some of the points on that and get the pros and cons as we go along, then we could come back, modify the policy, and then maybe go to an open meeting and yeah. present it. So that's what I, so yeah. Okay, in, a, so in, a, in a nutshell, yeah, that's, that would right, be the so best. I, so maybe, Danielle, that policy, can you go through that yeah. and get rid of the red lines? Oh, yeah, yeah, just make it clean. You know, just yeah. because, and then you could check for the stuff that we didn't want in there because it was a couple yeah. lines that were left in in different places accidentally. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make too many changes with it in it until we had the um, meeting because you may find that one of the things we want to strike the select board wants to keep. Mm -hmm. So let's. Well, no, no. Let's what I'm talking about is the, is what we had talked about originally. Yeah. Danielle's got all these red lines yeah, I know. that she created, and I think we should come out with a clean one. If they want to add something, that would be fine. Yeah. Well, we want, might want to add something, too. Like, to right. me, that's not an accepted document. It's right, no. I'm not on board with it. It's just, I wanted her to clean it up just yeah, for I mean, ease of reading. Piece, then, for yeah, ease of yeah. reading. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so, so the biggest, one of the big reasons is I, I know that even on this board, we're, we're not 100% right. unified on what we right. want to do with that. So. Right. So, um, so I think that the, you know, sitting down as a work, as a work meeting, with the select board gives us a chance also to all of us get our, get get something so that when we go into a public meeting, we're a little more cohesive. Right. Yeah. We want to we want to sit down and, and, and really meet. And, yeah. Yep. You know, if you do it on a Monday night, you know people are going to be there. It's right. probably easier if you came to one of our meetings mm -hmm. and do it as a workshop. Yeah. Do it as a workshop. You know, we'll, we'll pull our public hearings and then after that. You know, maybe a later meeting or early, you know, before. Um, in the summertime, it's good because we're kind of light right now, am I right, Daniel? Yes, we are expecting some applications soon, including uh, the Park Street uh, senior housing project. But yes, yes, you're right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. however you want to handle it, we're just yeah. we really want to collaborate, support. Yeah. If okay. you have like, it, it, no, that's fine. We we, yeah. we need your, we need. The select board to be on board with this because we don't want to do what we, what's happened in the past. Right. So, we want so to be just as thing. a suggestion here, um, we should probably include the building inspector. Oh yeah. yeah. Because he because he's done a lot of homework on this. Yep. Yeah. He can tell us Absolutely. if we start to run afoul of the state law. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. It's it's running afoul of the law because you can't do that. Yeah, he's he's going to fail anyways. Yeah. He's. Um, He's looked at that, so let's so let's right. let's have him along. 
as well. And, and so just to follow on what Warren said, which was, I, I agree, I think there's a lot of it that there's consensus on, but if there's things even within the board you're split on, put them both down, let's talk them through. Yeah, yeah know, like, exactly. Like, don't hide that, you know. Exactly. No, no, I'm not trying to hide, don't want to hide anything. I yeah. think too there's a different um, way to do it. I mean, what, what Danielle has and what we, we worked on a little bit is a, a draft and there's a lot of back and forth. Brian wasn't there for most, almost most of the meetings, you know, um, but, what we what I've seen is a, a few different examples of is a table kind of nailing some of the major benefits. You know, yeah. Yeah, this is what you're trying to achieve, and here's like how to do it. And there's like five different ways, right. and sometimes allows nine thousand square, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And so it's in a more of a table format. And to me, it's like that's a better way because you're looking at your menu, if you will, of ADU yeah. broken down into these six categories. I've seen this, so I can probably get something to you, Danielle, sure, and helpful. use that maybe. And then you're picking, like, I like that, I like that. <coughs> Some are more restrictive, you know, it's almost in a scale. Yeah. And you're gonna be able to test out temperature of this group and your group and see, you know, maybe find the half the medium. Yeah. Um, but that's better, because I think if you're just going back to the language, it's gonna just get, yeah, well, I think yeah, I just the got language back, has to back be up here. high level and right. write down it, and, and that way we can drop the language from, you know, the, um, the Almost majors. like having a few points that we're yeah. trying to achieve, and More then, points. yeah. yeah. But I will clean up that other copy, you <laughs> yeah. know, yeah, what, whatever form that I'll ends up taking. Um, yeah, that'd be I, helpful. What I've seen, and I can definitely grab, it was like on a website. And it was actually really, really good. So yeah. That's, that's okay. Credit yeah. to grab So. Yes. So then on the second point, it was that you, you, you also expressed, you know, dissatisfaction what happened at that town meeting. Oh, yeah. The affordable overlay. So let's make that the secondary thing. But again, we'd like to work with you to okay. bring that yeah. out so we don't have that right. happen again. We let's let's do out. one one at a time, one I think. Time. Yeah. Um, yep. That way we can keep that meeting short. Yep. So you can focus on that. I, we know you go to a lot of meetings. Yeah, but I mean, I, but the point is that it, it wasn't overlooked. Okay. I just want to be sure Thank that you. we also want to address that as well. Okay. But we agree that ADU is the most important All right. to, to take on. So, All right. yeah. So thank you. All right. Okay. I just want to be sure that I followed up. Okay. You know, obviously yep. you should lay a liaison. So, um, you know. Well, we asked you, I think Warren asked you to, to go back with that. No, you yeah. did. The last time we're off. We even knew who the liaison was. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. right. So, but no, thanks, thanks for coming and letting us know that. Yeah, happy to do it. And happy to help if you want my help. So, thank you. Good. Well, we're done. We're done. We're done. So, we adjourn? Yeah. Thanks, we're adjourned? Yeah. We're adjourned.